Well, welcome back, folks. Thanks for joining us. Overnight, DJI announced some big upgrades to both the Matrice 210 version 2 and also the Phantom 4 RTK. With the Matrice 210 V2, we're very excited because the RTK version finally provides survey level corrections to the camera. This is a feature that many have been asking for for some time and DJI have taken their time to get just right for the market. Now, this will only work as it stands with the X7 camera when used with either the 24 or the 35 megapixel lens. The X7 camera is a Super 35 sensor, so about 50% larger than your traditional Phantom camera or the X4S. It's also uh, 24 megapixels, so an increase in resolution. Um, however, with the lenses that we're using, the field of view is slightly narrower, so again, that's increasing our resolution on the ground. The benefits of using a Matrice instead of, say, a Phantom 4 RTK for surveying is that it's got a much higher wind rating, so we can use the Matrice in winds of up to 12 meters per second, whereas most craft are rated only 10. Also, the Matrice has an IP43 weatherproof rating. So whilst you generally wouldn't want to do any photogrammetry in the rain because you're gonna get water drops on your lens eventually, if it's the end of the job, you've just got another 15 minutes to do, you don't need to worry that you're putting anything at risk by using a Matrice in that environment. It's also, as we said earlier, a high resolution, which is always good for your data. Other improvements to the drone were um, across the range. They've improved, if you're using the 14 to 42 mm lens, they've reduced some of the jitter that you used to get when you were zooming in and out. It's always quite difficult to have a gimbal with a zoom lens because the center of gravity changes as you zoom, but they've improved that quite nicely. Also, if you are using the base station with the Matrice 210 RTK, you can now download RTCM data from that base station using DJI Assistant 2 so that you can use it essentially as a, as a PPK base station. Also, this has been around for a while now, but not too many are aware of it. The Z30, the super zoom camera, you can commence and stop zooming using uh, two of the buttons on the controller. Again, stopping you having to touch the screen and so on. Although my preference has always been to use the tap zoom functionality on the display, which works really nicely. Finally, there's now a recenter option for just the pan axis on the gimbals. This is great if you're wanting to keep them at the same tilt angle, but merely recenter the gimbals so they're pointing straight ahead. DJI Pilot, uh, not too many changes with DJI Pilot. However, many have uh, not noticed maybe that it does have some other features. There's a waypoint mission planning in DJI Pilot in three different modes, either a standard waypoint mission or photogrammetry, be it nadir or oblique. With the oblique photogrammetry planning, it's a little different to some other DJI apps and that what it does is it actually divides the job up into five different jobs. One for each of the four faces with the camera at say a 60 degree angle and one Nadir flight. Now, whilst that sounds funny on the face of it, it does mean you can customize it for your job. So if you were doing it say a cliff face, there would be one of the Nadir angles that you simply wouldn't want to do. So the angle where the camera is pointing away from the cliff face is probably pretty pointless. So you can skip that, allowing you to to customize a bit more the way you use your uh, the way you use your oblique photography. Ground Station Pro, the app for iPad, also works with the Matrice 210 V2, and as we said earlier, you're now storing PPK data onto the device when you're using just like the P4 RTK when you're using survey mode on a Matrice 210 RTK. Well, thanks again for joining us. We're always really excited to bring you the latest news from DJI and indeed the drone world. We don't just do DJI here after all. Um, as ever. Please do like, subscribe, comment. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on LinkedIn. Follow us there and we'll keep you up to date with everything in the New Zealand drone industry. And thanks very much for watching. Cheers.